Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Sheila B. Lund, and I'm coming to you with a review of Love and Marriage Huntsville Season 4, Episode 6. I believe it's called One That Has a Kiki or One That Got to Kiki or something like that. But she had me kiki in, honey. And um, I do want to let y'all know that I uploaded the mid-season trailer. So please go and check that out and give it a, a like. And um, yeah, give me a like. And also, when you're reviewing, when you do listen to this video here, it's okay to comment because I do talk to y'all in the comments. We get a good kiki. I want to got a kiki. And um, yeah, and subscribe to the channel. You know, I'm on the road to a thousand. So I can do that with your help and help me out so we can get this thing going. <laughs> anyway, so here we are here. We're going into the episode of Love and Mary Tunsville. And it gets started. We have Melody. We have Melody, Stormy, and Kiki. They're having, I guess it's Taco Tuesday. I know they eat tacos at the taco bar. And um, they all get together and then they're discussing, I believe, what Kimmy happened on her vacation. Did they talk about that? I'm not for sure, but I know they talked about the whole uh, pajama party and why wasn't Kiki, no, why wasn't Destiny and Letitia there? And did y'all notice all of them got on black? Like, here come the women in black. Here are the three Black Panthers, especially with Melody with that hat on her head. They look like they about to be some galaxy defenders and Mel is about to defend herself against these questions that Kim, that Kim is bringing toward her about Destiny and Letitia. Yeah. So... They're talking and about the whole deal because Kimmy said she didn't want to bring it up while she was at the party. So she's bringing it up now. I guess it's perfect opportunity while they send their ink tacos. And um, Melody is pretty much like, I've been knowing, um, I guess the friend was named DeWanda. De I don't know. I don't want to mess nobody's name up, but I it was something like that. And um, through Kiki, she knew that person. That person introduced her to Kiki, and her and Kiki had became acquaintances, and that's how they got to know each other. And so I guess they kept in touch or been around each other or something. So she ended up inviting her to her pajama party because let Kimmy tell it, she has never seen Kiki at any of her events, and she don't. She didn't even know why she was there at Melody's event. So she was just like, well, yeah, you know, I knew her and she said, we do talk about people, but we just don't sit up and just talk about people. That's what Melody said. And it kind of threw me off because I was like, what did she say? Maybe I'm saying it wrong, but I heard something to the effect of, yeah, you know, they said they discuss people that they know, but she just don't bring them around just to talk about the people that they know. It was something like that. And um, another thing that I noticed in this conversation is Kimmy, it, the way Kimmy was asking her questions to Melody, she was almost asking the questions as if she didn't want to upset Melody. Because she she would, her, her, her voice would become high-pitched and sh the gestures in her shoulders and her hands, it's like she was trying to be gentle. And I really didn't understand why. Because... She was like, and I and I I guess I do understand why, but in the same token, I don't understand why. And the reason why I'll get to that um in a minute. Even with Stormy, when Stormy was asking the question about destiny, she even had to rearrange her question like two times so that Melody could kind of, I guess, not take it the wrong way. I don't know. It was just kind of weird to me because. You know, Melody went on the whole spill about how she knew Kiki and all of that stuff. And then at the end of the day, she was like, this is her house. And she can pretty much invite who she wanted her house. And when Stormy was like, so are you going to still be friends with Destiny? Like, or why aren't you friends with Destiny or something to that point? And she was like, well, then she said, well, do you think you would ever be friends with Destiny again? And then Melanie is like, so what you mean, dude? What do you mean will I be friends with her? Well, will y'all still be in the same place? So it's like they were, yeah, I, just, I don't know. They just had to keep asking the same question a different way. And that was kind of weird to me. And um, she was like, no, I will never be friends with Destiny. We will never be in the same place that we are in right now. Because once somebody show me who they are and they they take my my friendship for granted, then, you know, I'm not going to be friends with, any, friends with them anymore. And, and, you know, she went into her whole spiel about she was a good friend and she knows I was a good friend and all of that stuff. And... 
the um Storm was just kind of looking like, oh well, okay. And so now Kimmy is just like, so will you still, you know, be in the same room with them? Like, if I have an event, would you come? She said, and and you know, and then Melody is like, well, who who was I going to be there? And she's just like, because she's having an, an event, she's having a housewarming party for Jalen because you know they went and got that house and you know they redid it for him. And Melanie is like, who, who's all going to be there? She said, well, I was thinking about, you know, you know, destiny. I don't have any issues with destiny. Even when she has to explain herself about who's coming to her event. And even when, then she said that I'm going to invite Letitia, you know, because, you know, she's family. But my thing is this, if Melody can sit across that table and say, it's my house, I can invite whoever I want in my house, then Kimi, you should be able to be like, well, I'm invite whoever I want to invite in my house. I don't think that you should have to overly explain yourself the reason why you're inviting people to your house. Even when it came down to the whole thing with Martell, because Melody was like, so coming to you as a friend, why would you invite Martel? So you mean that you would invite Martel if you, if I don't show up? She's very direct with you, Kimmy. So Kimmy, you should be direct with her. You know what I'm saying? Because really to me, what I heard too is, Melody, if you don't show up, I'm inviting Martel. So are you coming or not? That's what I heard. Because if you come, Mel, Martel's not going to be there. If you don't come, then, Mar you know, if you come... Martel's not coming. If Mel doesn't come, then Martel is coming to the party. And I was just like, oh, okay. And to me, it's like everybody has gotten word that Melody is not filming with Martel at the moment. So I guess they have to pick and choose who's going to be where, you know. And I just didn't understand because Melody can just be direct and say, ask these questions and be serious in them. But when you are all asking questions to Melody, you have to kind of rearrange them. And also, she Melody had got very passive aggressive because she was just like, yeah, because you know, you think, you know, Martell is so loving and Martell is, is so this and so that. And then it's like Kimmy kind of caught it and she was like, yeah, I mean, we still going back over this. Yeah, I mean, Martell is. You know, a loving, he does have a nice, a, a big heart, a nice heart. Because we remember a couple seasons ago where she brought up Martel and you know how he has a nice heart and all that stuff. And I just don't like the fact that, like I say, people have to freaking almost walk on eggshells when it, when it comes to Melody. I don't understand it because everybody, are, everybody, they're friends. You're in a friend group. You're filming a show together. So nine times out of 10, you are going to be around each other. You know, y'all are going to be around each other. So that's the case. You can't make somebody or you because she's she's not making them not be friends with Martel. But in a way, she's almost like having them choose. You know, you're making them choose who they're going to be friends with. And I, to me, it's kind of not fair. To me, it's really not. It's not fair. And then they have to be so sensitive to it because she always brings up, you know, the way he treats me and the way he does this to me. And then when Kimmy brought up the fact that, yeah, I really didn't want him there because he brings this different type of energy. I guess he brings a lot of mess or whatever. But the thing about it is, even in this season, I this Season four, I haven't seen Martell be messy, except almost that whole thing with the kids. That's debatable. You know, it is debatable. His day, her day, whatever. But I haven't really seen him just be blatantly messy. I've seen him try to, um, I guess, I guess better his life, whatever. But, but they are being in a situation to where they have to choose when it comes to Melody and Martell. And that's pretty much what it is. So Melody says she would show up. And yeah, I guess she's going to show up. So that's all with that. Yeah, that's Melody asking all them questions. I had do these, I got these screenshots. All right. So here we are here. So we have um, Destiny, we have Martell. And Destiny goes over to Martel's house. Remember last episode, 
Um, Melody is like, yeah, you, you coming by your house and you talk to him every day. Well, you kind of proving it right because you, you, they showed the scenes where you do be talking to him. I mean, it may not be every day. And then you are, you know, popping up at his house and I don't know. It's just, and then he makes little comments like you showing skin and we all know that Martel is a cheater. So when he says things like that, it's just not a good look for him to say that she's showing skin because she wears, her, you know, because she got this sweater on and it's cold outside. I don't know. It's almost like anything Martel says, it's almost like cheerish. <laughs> so it really don't matter if he's been coming from a genuine place or a crazy place. But it's always kind of cheaterish. So they're getting together and they're having a powwow about Melody. You know, Destiny is like, well, you was with her. You know what I'm saying? He's she's trying to get some insight on to why is um why is Melody kind of ousting Destiny? You know, but they come to the same consensus that if Mel is your friend, and if Mel doesn't like the person that you were friends with, then you are supposed to cut them off. That's the consensus that they came to. And what I don't like is they are not showing Destiny build her brand. They are showing her as like this bitter ex-friend trying to find out where her friend is. You know, they got her going from scene to scene, talking about destiny. Now, she done said that she didn't been on the welfare. And she done said that she didn't had to get the government assistance. Now, y'all done pulled up all these PPP loan and Carfax reports about this girl whole life. Now, they pulling up your bones, destiny. You need to be out here getting your products in Madani. You need to be out here, you know, doing your stuff with your stuff, getting your stuff together, not just run around worried about what Mel is doing. Maybe you are trying to get your business where it needs to be, but they not showing that part. Maybe they are only showing the part where you run around here trying to figure out what Melody doing. Because Melody... She got all kind of songs and she got all kind of skincare and books and all of this stuff. So she got God said go. Have a, you know, so destiny, you need you you need to do your stuff instead of worried about, you know, I just I mean, maybe they're not showing you doing that, but girl, you gotta change the narrative because right now you looking like a weird ex-friend. That's all I'm saying. And then you right there standing beside her weird ex-husband. Yeah. Yeah, see ya? See her face? Yeah, I had to take a screenshot of this because Miss Wanda is a beautiful lady. She is a beautiful, messy lady. But this big green... Yeah, it is Christmas time. And she, I ain't gonna talk about nobody mama, but I'm just saying... It's green and it's Christmas and it looked like an ornament that you put on a tree. And that's it. I'm done. So here we are. Um, Wanda, she goes over to Letitia's house and Letitia is looking cute in her shorts. And Miss Wanda looks good as well with her finger wave freeze with the bun in the back. Yeah, she's circa 1993, but it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. So they sitting down and they're talking and she um shows Letitia that she has her business license, which is good. And she's very serious about getting her um her food truck off the ground. She's making sure that Marceau is going to invest in her, which Marceau is. Letitia said Marceau does a lot of talking about what he ain't going to do or what he going to do or what he not going to do. But Letitia said, if I really want him to do something, I know how to reel Marceau in into doing what she wants him to do. So I guess she, she got, that's her man. They've been together. So I guess she does know how to have him doing stuff except for taking you to Africa and except for telling you where that hotel room is and except for telling you where that other apartment is and except for telling, child, that ain't got nothing to do with me. It'll come up later. But anyway, so you can grill him in the, girl, he, <laughs> Woo, I'm not going to talk about this lady and, and his man. But anyway. So they bring up the whole deal about um Kimmy. And so now Wanda like Kimmy is a snake 
And she's like, Kimmy, a snake? How she a snake? Well, no, Kimmy. So, oh, okay. So what she do, you know, then she tells her about the whole pajama party that Melody had on Christmas time that she wasn't invited to. And Kiki was there. And Miss Wanda like, oh, my niece Kiki? Yeah, Kiki. So what Kiki doing there? Why she know Melody? Well, apparently, you know, they, they friends now. And it comes to find out that Kimmy told me that Mel that um Kimmy Kiki was telling all my business to Melody and them and company. And she's like, What? You know, I gotta have a whole conversation with Kiki because that's not, you know, how it work. And then we have a Wandaism. And a Wandaism is something that don't nobody know what she talking about but her and I and her daughter. Because both of them, <laughs> I said, I tried, I tried to laugh real hard before I did this review because I didn't want to laugh at nobody mama. So, who, Miss Wanda said, she said, don't trust the lady that buys shoes without a box. And I'm sitting there. I'm like, okay. Oh, okay. So what that mean? <laughs> me and Tisha, me and Tisha was like, you know how you be, you know, <laughs> you know how you be, you got a friend and they give, they be talking, you know, they talking and you be agreeing, you shaking your head. You like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they just say something off the wall. You shake your head like you really want to agree. But deep down inside, you're like, what? So that was me and Tisha. We was like, uh, uh, what? Let me tell y'all again, Wandaism. Don't trust a person that buys shoes without a box. And then this, now this daughter is going to say, yeah, you know, because keep your, keep your enemies closer and your friends, keep your enemies close and your friends closer. I said, that's why they mother and daughter, because they saying stuff all backwards. I get it. I get it. Because Tisha is keep your, <laughs> keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Child. You know what? And then, and then Wanda, she said, I, Lord Jesus, help me because I don't like to talk about nobody in the way that they talk, but I did not know what she was saying. I, my mama was sitting right there beside me. And I said, when she said, she said, Kiki, because apparently Kiki and Tisha are in this competition. So the parents pit Kiki and Letitia against each other. So they don't be wanting to use the J word, which is jealous, but they saying that Kiki is jealous of Tisha. So Miss Wanda gets in her confessional and she said that Kiki wants to image Tisha and she want to image her family and she's envious of her kids and she and I asked my mom I said mama what she say and my mama said I don't really know what she said and I said hold on rewind it rewind it and my mama rewind rewound it and she said envious and then I said mama mama said I think she's trying to say envious I said oh Wanda isms envious so Kiki is envious of Tisha she's envious of her family and she envious of her lifestyle and her well-being okay I get you now Miss Wanda we on the same page because I wasn't I was on page six and you was on page 36 but i get you now she envious and then the whole shoe box is because i still don't i can't get the shoe box one because people be snake that's what people be snakes that's it and guess what now that kimmy done told tisha what was going on behind tisha back 
now Kimmy is shedding her snake skin. Was it skin? Or was she just shedding the snake? The shake, the snake is shedding. So she ain't all the way the snake no more because it's shedding. I get you now, Miss Wanda. See, can't nobody say it like Miss Wanda, but Miss Wanda. And the only person that really understand it is Tisha. But anyway, Miss Wanda gonna have a kiki with kiki. She gonna sit down and she gonna talk, pretty much. Point blank to the period. So now, here we are. You have Melody and you have um, Tiffany. So... Tiffany is talking to Melody and they, um, Tiffany is talking to Melody and they are, she's talking about her whole biological mother and she found a biological mother and then she wants to find her biological father because they were talking about having kids and all of this stuff, you know, cause you know, um, Tiffany is 34 years old and she still want kids cause she don't have any with Lewis. She has two, um, prior to Lewis. And so, did y'all see her husband, Big David? <laughs> Why Big David look like a little David? And was his did what was Big David shoulders? You know what? Well, I'm not gonna talk about nobody's shoulders and their neck ratio. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna talk about the neck and the shoulder ratio. Cause I didn't really see the neck. But anyway, so. She was saying that she's going to try to find her biological, um, her biological mother, her father. And Melody said that she wanted to go because originally this, this is the crazy part. She was going to take her husband, but she didn't take her husband. She's going to take Melody to do, to do something so personal. And I don't really understand why she would take Melody to do something so personal as to find your biological mother. I mean, excuse me, father. And the scene is going to go on. And I think, yeah, I don't know. Because Melody said, she, Melody said she's, she's like an in, inspector. And she never understand why she like murder mysteries and like finding stuff. She, she, you know, she liked to be a detective. What's the word she said? She likes suspenses. Now, Melody said it. She said suspenses. And I'm, they know. So, make a long story short, they go on, a, Melody likes suspenses, and she, um, gonna find, help up, help, um, um, Tiffany find her daddy. Yeah. So, here go the scene right here, right? So, Miss Wanda goes to Kiki's house. So, apparently, Kiki just moved into her, a new house, and Miss Wanda said she was in the area, Knowing and she live over in Bessemer, but she, but she didn't came all the way down here in the area. How you in the area? But anyway, so she in the area. She didn't came down to Kiki house, right? So Kiki sitting there. Let me see. Look at this. Hold on. I tried to get a good picture of Kiki makeup. Now Kiki must like colors. That's what it is. Kiki like colors that are bright because that sweater she had on, and then this eyeshadow. Like, I'm not no makeup girl. I'm not. But if that eye is supposed to look that blue up under there like that, with that green, and hey, I guess, to each his own. But they sit in there, and then they still, they talking about the whole deal with, you know, Tisha and and how her dad and Miss Wanda would go, with, they would have this whole confrontation because apparently Kiki and them was a little well out. And Miss Wanda and them lived in the projects. So now it's almost, I want to say almost like the tables have turned because Tisha done moved on up like the Jeffersons and Kiki's still trying to find her way. I mean, I don't know what Kiki doing, but apparently she ain't on Tisha level. So really Kiki was kind of bring, she was bringing up old stuff like she was. Bringing up that stuff that happened four years ago because Miss Wanda came to confront her about why is you talking to about my daughter to people that I don't even like. And then she talking about what well, Tisha was talking about me. And Miss Wanda said, how long ago was that? Four, five. Girl, okay. So we see what you're doing. So Miss Wanda done called this girl a snake. She done called this girl, you know, she, you know. And then 
that's when Kiki brought up the whole thing. Y'all pitting us against each other ever since they was kids. They didn't really start being cousin friends until they was 13 years old. You know what I'm saying? They didn't look if somebody got this and then this person got that. Look at Tisha got this. Now Kiki got that. So they was both going against each other. When the families get into it, they say, well, my daughter got this and then my daughter got that, which is so, that's that hood ghetto for real that's that hood ghetto acting like a person that ain't never had nothing when a person got to always bring up what you got to put somebody else down that is the most hoodest ghetto crap in a barrel all of that stuff because it don't make sense why we all just can't come up why we all just can't be family why why we all can't just extend a hand stop doing that stupid stuff the keeping up with the joneses i think that's dumb and then for kiki i don't care Kiki, you wrong. You should have not. You should have not spoken about this girl and her marriage to somebody that's supposed to be. And Melody said it out of her mouth. That's the enemy. That's the op. That's the frenemy or whatever. She said in all this, those words are semantics. They are interchangeable. Op, enemy, frenemy. They don't fool with each other. So you're bringing up that stuff to another person. That's not fair. It's not cool. It's not, it's nothing. You know what I'm saying? And Miss Wanda is Miss Wanda. You know, she going to protect her daughter. She said, my daughter going to be there for me at all time. And I'm going to be there for my daughter at all time. And Kiki, you family. So you need to get Kiki coming up talking about some, yeah, y'all put, y'all want to say I'm jealous. But Kiki, at the end of the day, what does that have to do with you going to talk about this girl behind her back? That's what I don't understand. It's like she was trying to flip it, and she thought she was being cute when she was trying to flip it. But when Miss Wanda said, how long ago was that? She didn't have no words because she already knew. You know what I'm saying? Like, you on, you on, you on the bowl right now. You know what I'm saying? But Wanda, you know, pretty much got her together. was like, no, you going to have to watch your back. Don't play with me because you know how I am about Tisha. You know what I'm saying? And everybody know. So... I know I missed a lot in this episode, but I know Miss Wanda, they they went back and forth. So, yeah, Miss Wanda was mad. And then Kiki acting like she's surprised. I'm surprised with all that, that blue. All right, so here's the end of the episode here. You have um Lewis and you have um Tiffany. Tiffany is surprising Lewis. Lewis is like Lewis was like, well, shoot, she gave me a surprise wedding. You don't think she'll give me a surprise Airbnb? You know, and I really felt bad for Lewis. I really, really did because Lewis, she sits him down, she butters him up, she talk about she want kids, and then she brings up the fact and because he says she's never, she's always working, so how she want kids? And apparently they ain't doing the things you do to get kids because he was, you know, in that trailer he busting down bricks because he said he got built up tension, and so she is saying that. She wants to make a girl's trip finding her biological father with Melody. And Lewis was like, I never even met your biological mother. I didn't even have a hand in that. She said, your ex-husband or your baby daddy, whoever Big Dave is, he had a hand in finding your mother. I wanted to be a part of something so special and so close to your life. You do things like that with close, close family. Because you can be in a situation to where you can get sad, you can get depressed. You sometimes need your man. That's what the that's what husband and wife is supposed to. This ain't no girl's trip. This is some serious stuff. And you hurt that man's feelings and you really emasculated him because you're gonna say, Well, that's not what Whitlows do. Whitlows don't get upset. Girl, you played him and he acting like a sucker and he leaking it. You know what I'm saying? He, you the sucker and he licking it. Hold on, what did he say? What Snoop Dogg say? She found a sucker and he licked it. She found a sucker and she licked it. Yeah. And then, ooh, did y'all catch the fact when she said, oh, yeah, and our bank accounts are getting better? So she's still on that money tip. She married Lewis for his money. I, I ain't going to say that. But when she brought up the fact that their money was looking good, I was like, ooh. So you just left the man for his money and your man now money looking good and she happy about that, but she don't want you to go on the trip. Child, I, uh-uh, that wasn't cool. It wasn't cool at all. And I agree with Lewis. Just tell her how you feel. You ain't got to cut no corners with her. That's your wife. You should be able to be open with her. And 
Yeah. But anyway, that is Love and Marriage Huntsville season four, episode six. Y'all please like, comment, and subscribe. I know I missed a lot, but please charge it to my head and not my heart. And uh, remember, Jesus loves you and bye.